Hello everyone. Happy Labor Day. I hope you guys are good. I'm surprising myself by being able to live stream today, which I didn't know if that would even be possible because of my job, but hi Diana. How are you? I didn't know if it would be possible that I even get to stream, um, but somebody's working for me today, so isn't that awesome? So I'm going to stream for a little bit, and I've been up since, I can't even tell you, it's early here, it's only like 7 in the morning, but I've been up since like, I don't know, 4 in the morning, which is ridiculous. And I did not finish, I have to get these in the mail, I did not finish my, my fairies, I've been trying, but it just, hey Linda, how are you? Aloha to you, too. I have not finished my fairies. I'm, you know, they're sitting here on my desk, and i got to get them in the mail today. So I'm going to decorate fairies. If anybody wants to hang out with me, I am going to decorate some fairies. So I don't know. I'll show you what I've done so far. Guys, my desk is such a mess. Like, my little table is just, like, overloaded with stuff everywhere. It doesn't matter how clean my surfaces start, I start off with it just gets worse. Hi, Joni. You got notified? I, you know, this is so impromptu. I didn't even like. <coughs> I figured everybody's doing their, um, I feel like everybody's doing their, their, you know, Labor Day stuff. Trace! Oh my God, Trace, make my day, girl. How are you? We've all been missing you. What's going on with you? What is going on? I'm so happy to see you. If you guys haven't subscribed to Tracy, it, her channel's It's Nana's Place. She's awesome. All right, so here's my doll so far, and I've glued their skirts on. I did the last stream, I did their, like, little thing. So these are all my fairies. Now I have to, like, finish them. I have to work on their hair, and I don't know. I I thought I wanted to... And here's one, here's one that's kind of probably a little bit more finished because I did her hair already. I did her with ponytails. I need to make like some tiaras or something for them. I'm not quite sure what. But this is what I got going on right now. This is my, this is, these are the fairies. You're doing great. You'll be back on YouTube as soon as you can. Trace, we miss you, girl. We all love you. Miss you and love you. So I gotta work on their hair and I gotta work on like if I'm gonna make tiaras. That's what I'm working on. I think they came out cute. You know what I ended up doing is, you know, I can't, I have trims, but they're like so big. So I just ended up just using like this Studio G glitter glue and just putting, I don't know if you can see it, but they have like little glitter dots all over it. And now I'm just gonna like work on their hair and I don't know. I think they came out pretty cute. You know, I, I'm i not a, I should have, I should have gone for a, a different variety. Hi, Malia. I should have gone for a different variety of flowers, but it was what I could find. We're so happy to see you, Trace. How's your job? What are you doing, Mama? And if you, if you've already told me, you know, you guys, my head's a sieve. This job, I know I told you guys this job's kicking my butt. The job I have is kicking my behind. But I hired somebody, you guys, so pretty soon I won't have to be working these crazy hours. I hired I hired two people and one of them I had hired a couple of weeks ago, but he had a you know, he'd had he had plans before he took the job. He was going away with his family. So he comes back tonight, so he's going to work tomorrow. And I hired somebody else. I feel like, I feel like, um, I feel like, I feel like I can, I'm going to get my life back soon. Does that make sense? I think I'm going to get my life back. I think I'm going to add a few more strands of hair for her so that if I decide to put her hair up, but there's some hair in the back of her head. And I found a better glue gun. Last, you guys, last stream, my glue gun was like the squeaky one. This one may be squeaky too, but I don't think so. Trace, we've been missing you, girl. 
or I've been missing you. And obviously, Miss Malia's been missing you too. We have been missing you, Miss Trace. I'm so happy to see you here. You're always in my thoughts. I'm always thinking about you and hoping everything's going good. It's been kicking your bunnies. <laughs> you had to cut them to three days a week. Oh, no. I am tired, Malia. I am tired. You know what I did yesterday? I got off of work early, and I had all these plans. You guys, I came home and went right to bed. That was that was the extent of, like, when you get off work a little early, what, what I could manage to do for myself. I went right to bed. It was so ridiculous. My daughter had cooked some dinner, and which I'm grateful for. And my 27-year-old daughter. She's so rock star. I don't know what I'd do without her. If I didn't have her right now, I think I would just be like, it would be not a good scene for me. She had cooked dinner, and I ate some taco salad. They made taco salad and some tofu thing. Trace is saying, your job's been kicking your bunnies, and you had to cut down to three days a week, and as soon as I get paid the month, my boss is behind. Oh, no. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Um, you know, I think that, I don't know. I just know for myself. So I fell asleep really early. My, my hottie wanted, we were supposed to go see some friends and you guys, I couldn't even muster it. I was like, I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> I was like, I can't do it. I can't go see friends. I was like so tired. I said, I can't go see any friends. And he was like, okay. I said, you go see friends. <laughs> he was like, he was like, it's not fun without you. I said, dude, I cannot do it. I am so tired. I can't do it. And he was like, okay. My fairies are great. I don't know if they're great or not, Malia, but you know what? At least I'm getting them done. Here's I've done zero crafting. Zero. And I mean zero. Like, I have had no... Not only have I had no time to craft, I've had no mojo. When the time I get home, if I have a little bit of extra time, I'm just like laundry, lunches, you know, that ridiculousness. We've missed you, Miss Trace. We have missed you. All right, this is, I'm going to see if this works. It may not work. We'll see. We will see if it works, shall we? We're going to see if this works. That if I make these again the next time, I'm going to complete the hair before I put anything on the body. Because what I've noticed for myself is that the what I've noticed for myself is that the the flower part gets in the way. You, you hear that? Even half days, you can't, even half days of work, you can't move your ar arms at all to art. Girl, mine is just sheer freaking exhaustion. And it's, it's so stupid, you guys. It's, it's so, first of all, it's so not necessary, the number of hours I'm working. And it's just stupid. Completely stupid. Completely stupid. And we'll see. We'll see. I'm just like trying to hang in there. I'm just trying to keep going. Just trying to keep swimming like Dory. <laughs> Hi, Peddler. How are you? I'm just trying to, I'm barely, I'm barely keeping it going, girls, but I'm just trying to keep swimming like Dory. Just keep swimming, right? Because like, what else is there if I don't keep swimming? Nobody else is going to swim for me. It has been, though, this job has been a butt kicker. I don't know that I will ever, I mean, I don't know. It, and the silly thing is it didn't have to be a butt kicker, but it really is. Just keep, that's all I can do, man. Every single day, it's like, just hear Dory in my head. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. How many of you guys, how many of you guys are finding yourself in a situation like that where you're just like, just got to keep swimming because if I don't keep swimming, something else is like, it's not going to be working out. That's where I'm at. 
that is where I'm at right now. And like, I'm barely keeping it together some days. So, it's just ridiculous actually. And I see I should have, see, that's why I should have done the, should, if you make these fairies, do their hair first before you do the, the dress, because the dress gets in the way of the hair. Um, yeah, this job's like ridiculous. You're in mid-pivot? Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm happy to see you too, Peddler. What are you guys up to? Tell me what everybody's doing today. You know, today I didn't know if I was going to have the day to do anything. So I didn't really make any plans. Like I didn't know if I was going to, I didn't know if I was going to be able to, um, you know, I found somebody that would work for me, but sometimes what happens is they say they'll work and then I'll get a phone call like saying, um, you know, something came up or I don't know. You guys, it's just my play right now. Okay, she definitely has more hair on one side than the other, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to like, I'm going to just keep it going. She's got more hair on one side than the other. Here's my tiny wire. Seriously. So... You know, like when you work a job and you work with people that are not like their shizzle comes up and then they just don't show up for you. That's it. That's, that's what I was afraid of. So I didn't make any plans. Although a friend of mine called me last night and asked me if I'd have lunch with her today. And I said, you know what? I will. Cause I can. My hair on one side is a fashion. Oh, good. I'm glad. All right. See, Meryl. You're relaxing and playing in a glue book and helping your new boyfriend, new boyfriend type college homework. Okay. Dish the dirt, Miss Nana. Dish the dirt. A new mister. Come on. We got to hear it. We got to hear all about it. You guys want to have a laugh about my hottie? Okay. So my hottie, he's ridiculous. So we try to carpool and because where we live on the side of the island we live on is um, the, where, where we both work is on the other side of the island and they literally call it the other side. And um, so we try to carpool because not because of we don't have two we have two cars, but just the traffic situation, the parking situation and all that. So we try to carpool. So I try to like, you know, I kind of have to wait for him or he has to wait for me. Generally he's waiting for me. Baja. Nope. Oh, uh, new boyfriend. I'm happy for you, Trace. You deserve it, girl. Okay. So yesterday, you know, he told me he was getting off of work at like four o'clock. And you guys, I manage the store so I could leave earlier if I have somebody to cover me. So finally I had somebody that, that would cover me yesterday. So I could have left at one o'clock. Well, you know, it was like one of those things where like, do I Uber over where he is and wait for him? Or do I just continue to do the work that I, that I'm going to have to do either today or tomorrow and get done. Right. So I just continue to do the work. And he was like, he calls me up. He goes, where are you? I said, what do you mean? Where am I? I'm at work. I said, you told me you weren't getting off. He said, I got off early. I said, well, it would have been good if you told me. Hi, Don. I said, it would have been good if you give me a little bit of heads up. I said, I said, I'm in the middle of a project now. And he's ridiculous. So then after he picks me up from work, he decides that we should go and watch the sunset somewhere. You guys, it was so hot yesterday where we are. I was like, I know he was just trying to like be all nice and do something with me, but I was just like, I need to go home. I was like, I really need to go home. I was so tired. So I kind of was like a, I kind of was a bummer for him, right? He wanted to go do something fun and I was too tired. 
this morning I, I went to bed so early that I woke up so early, which is crazy. <coughs> and he went to a friend's house and I just couldn't. How many of you guys work a job where you deal with people all day long and then the thought of like going to somebody's house after work to deal with more people is just not appealing? Anybody else besides me like that? I was just not feeling it. You can tell me he's 13 years younger than you. Good for you. Go cougar. Go cougar. Go. Go. Go cougar. You. You. Hey, Carolyn. How are you? I am like, I'm telling you. Hi, Maria. So, I'm like, the. I think I'm like, I don't want to say I'm a downer, but I'm just like a party pooper. I wasn't feeling like it. I just was not feeling like it. So this morning I woke up to text from our friends going, we missed you, we missed you. And I just thought to myself, guys, I haven't even had like one real day off, like where I didn't have like stuff I had to do. So, and I don't think any of them understand that. Do you know what I mean? I need something to sit my fairy in. What do I need? I need like a jar or something. Guys, everybody in my house except for my hottie. My hottie just went off to go and work out with his friend before he goes to work. He was like, do you want to join? I was like, uh, no. Uh, no, thank you. I have to finish my fairies. I've got to get my priorities straight. I just need my fairy to be able to stand up. <laughs> hey, Christy. Linda says, that's why her lunches are by herself, unless we have a potluck. I understand that completely, right? If you talk to a bunch of people all day, you don't feel like talking to them at night. I mean, I don't know. And then the thing is, is if you're like the person in your, in your friends, in your friends, like circle that is like generally like the jovial fun one, right? And then you meet with them and you're just exhausted. Then it becomes like the 20 questions. Well, what's going on with you? Well, why, why, what, ha what happened? Why aren't you like, why aren't you your happy jovial self? And you're just like thinking, I've just talked to like 200 people all day long and I'm just not feeling it. And I'm just not feeling it. Do any of you guys have that experience? Hey, Amberly. Hi, Anne. Thanks for all my, thanks for showing up, peeps. You guys, I got the nicest happy mail, and I'll show it to you. From Mark Christie. She must have, like, tuned in and sensed that my butt was dragging and not feeling like myself, which is really what it's been, you guys. You know, self-care is the hardest lesson I've had to learn. How many of you guys can jump on that bandwagon? Self-care, you know, like, really just putting yourself first. I know many of you are mothers, and you know what that's like. Like, you're like the last in the line for your stuff, right? Because you're taking care of everyone else, right? Well, I think this big lesson, this big lesson for me is definitely all about self-care. And just really learning how to take care of myself so that I don't, like, get sick. What's self-care? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you're prepping for the hurricane. Prayers to you. Hi, Denise. Prayers to you. Prayers to you. Prayers to you. Linda, I do have to stand up a lot of the day. Um, I mean, there is a place to sit down, but, you know, when people are coming in and out all day, you know. But self-care is like, my new mantra, you know, I'm really trying, I'm attempting, girls, I'm not doing a great job at it, but I'm attempting, I'm really attempting, I'm attempting the self-care, I mean, how many of you guys have to be reminded, like, if you don't take care of you, nobody else will, right? You have a mandatory eviction. 
evacuation, don't wait around, Denise. You know what? These storms are getting worse. I used to live in Texas, you guys. Hurricanes were like every minute, right? That's where I was born and raised in Texas. So hurricanes were all the time. And we used to weather out the storms and all that. But I think now the seriousness of this particular hurricane, I would be out. I would be because you're going to get stuck in traffic. Stuck and stuck with people trying to leave and evacuate and I don't know. My you know, my family um was in that last really bad flood in Texas and lost their home. My aunt and cousin, everything. I mean, they finally just moved back in not that long ago. That was the aunt that I went to be with that I told you that passed away and when was it? March or whenever I was there, you guys, I don't remember. Okay, this doll is going to have those crazy ponytails that and I just have to do the other side with little bows. I don't know if you can see them or not because I don't know if the camera shows it or not. You have a headache, Denise? Oh, so you look, girl. All year you've been giving yourself energy. Marilyn says, all year, I've been giving myself energy and protection before sending it out to others. It's tough. Well, I do it too, but <clears throat> it's not even the giving yourself the energy part. It's the putting yourself, for me, it's putting myself in the equation part. Does that make sense? Because I think sometimes for me, what happens is I can easily give to others, but I don't easily give to myself. And so if I'm not giving to myself, I'm getting depleted. And this job has shown me that bigger than anything. Bigger than anything. This job that I have now is totally showing me that my self-care regime is not was not great. That I really needed to step it up a notch to really care for myself more. Because in the end, if I'm not taking care of me, there's nobody you're a Melbourne aunt? Oh, awesome. You're gluing more than reading. Oh, good. You're in Volusia County, Florida. I don't even know where that is. Denise, we're sending you love, girl. Be safe. Things can be replaced. Your life cannot. So, take your pets and ewing. Skedaddle. Yeah, I was reading this morning. It's a mandatory ma evacuation tomorrow, yeah? Hey, Amberly, you're having a tough weekend. Your brother passed. It's your brother's four-year anniversary since he passed. Oh, so you love, girl. Daytona, it's near Daytona Beach. Oh, okay. Well... I don't know, you guys. It's just it's just one of those things. The self-care thing is like it's like something you have to do for you. I mean, and even though I know it, I still slack. How many of how many of you caregivers slack taking care of you? Don, you're in Florida. You're staying at your brother's. You just cleared your porch and you're staying at your brother's. You guys, prayers for all of you. I'm totally, but I've been putting you guys in my woo-woo every day. Every, every day. Girls are totally in my woo-woo. Okay, well, she's got her hair. She's got some crazy hair, but she's got some hair on there. And did I miss it in the last bow? Of course I did, because that's just how I roll, right? Missed it in the last bow. You're close to each other on the East Coast? You're in St. Augustine, Florida? 
I used to live in Jacksonville for like five minutes, well, a couple years, a long time ago. You guys, please be safe. Please, please, please be safe. Stuff can be replaced. You can't. Your pets. You're in Daytona Dawn too? I remember those preparing for hurricane things when I was a kid. It, it was crazy, right? Crazy stuff. <laughs> That's perfect. Yes, prayers for all of you. Prayers for you, Linda. I know how that feels, you know. Oh, no. And you lost your daughter, too. Oh, no. I love you. Big, you big, big, big hugs. Oh, big hugs to you, girl. Tracy says she used to, but now she's teaching other self-care by not doing for them. Yes. But rather only saying yes to the things that resonate internally. Yep. But sometimes you get tested. Like I'm being tested now. I am looking for a new job though. I'm not gonna stay there. If they don't if they don't meet if they don't meet up to their bargain, they're what they've told me. And I you know, I'm looking. If something came along right now that I could do that would definitely pay me what I'm being paid or a little more, I would I would I would already leave. Because it's just not at this point I'm feeling like you know when somebody tells you something and then they do the opposite, you know it's like when it's early on in a job, you know it's red flag city, you know? So I'm just like, I'm going to just see where it leads for the moment. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so one side of her hair is longer than the other. Let's see if I can trim it. And one side has more hair than the other. All right, what do you guys think? She's got some crazy hair. I should try to find. I'm looking. You guys, I'm not staying there. I'm not. Dawn says, craft supplies, apple pie, and hurricane supplies. That sounds good to me. You want to make a fairy? Oh, gosh, Linda, they're so easy. Remind of the, of the bargain. I just, you know what? I, this is the, this was the kicker for me. So she's, I think she's done unless I put some sort of like more embellishments on her. You guys, I can't, I couldn't find, I have all these little tiny trims and stuff, but I can't find it. You know, when, remember when my sister was coming and all those people were coming and I was freaking out because my house is like 700 square feet and I cleaned out all my stuff. I think it's all in storage. I think my hottie took a bunch of stuff to storage. He was being so sweet helping me, but I think it's all there because I've gone through all my boxes and I can't find it. So, um, you know, this is the thing with me is that I didn't mislead them. I have been completely 100% upfront with them at all counts. And, you know, I feel like they just lied to me the whole time. And, and I, and I had this thing out where I talked with the human resources person, the person that had hunted me. And I said, this is not what I signed up for. This is not what we agreed to. This is not, you know, I told her all that. And, um, you know, the, the fact that they would just, like, let me work 70 hours a week and not even think anything of it, that should have been a big indicator right then. Um, that they had no intention of doing what they said they were going to do. And you know what? I know their their headquarters is on another island, but she could have flown here and, and gotten a hotel and worked and helped me out instead of me being on my own. And I'm realizing that as I'm there more, that the stuff that they're asking me to do is almost virtually impossible. It's like, 
It's just like, it's not even, I don't even think it's doable. But it's all good. It's, you know, it was a life lesson. It's a self-care lesson. And then I told you guys the place was haunted on top of it. So it's like, when you're like so sensitive, you like pick up on everything. All right. I'm thinking she's going to be done. I was going to do tiara, but I don't think she needs one. Do you think she needs a tiara? The hair makes it. I'm glad you think so. You're working on getting on back on YouTube? Well, I was offered a side gig, but can I tell you, I don't have time to take the side gig. Because I'm too working too hard on what I'm doing here, you know? Now, I'm sorry if you guys hear the cat meowing. The cat's meowing because, like, nobody's woken up to feed her, even if she doesn't need to eat. <laughs> you love her. You guys, you guys make these fairies. They're so ridiculously easy. You can do it. There's nothing to it. It's just some floral wire. And those beads with the hole in them were like the hardest thing for me to find here. It doesn't mean that I got this colored wire. I was going to see if I could make some tiaras out of it. We'll see. We'll see if I can. Let's see what color is this one. This one's blue. This one's got, pon this one's got floppy ponytails. This one's got floppy ponytails. The other one's got ones that stick out. I could probably add some more um, yarn to her if I want to make her a tiara. Let's see. And yeah, I was offered a kind of a cool side gig, but at this point, I'm so tired, I can't even think about taking it. Hi, Chai. Well, you guys make them. They're so super easy. And I made them out of just like the cheapest flowers and the cheapest materials, you guys. It wasn't because. I didn't want to make them out of nicer materials. It was because you now I live on an island and you have to go with what it is. Hmm. Maybe I'll make her a hot pink tiara if I can. I don't even know how thick or thin this wire is. It's even going to work. So. I don't know, you guys. I'm, like, out of my mind lately. I'm just trying to, like, just hold it together and just trying to hold it together and hang in there, you know? What did you get from the Dollar Tree? Oh, you probably could get all this stuff from the Dollar Tree. But I don't have a Dollar Tree. You guys know I live on an island. I don't have a Dollar Tree. If I had one, I would be thrilled. If I had a Dollar Tree, I'd be in the game. But if I had a Dollar Tree, I'd probably have so many more um, projects to do than I'm doing now. <laughs> Does that ring true for any of you? The pro the project extravaganza. The project extravaganza at all. That's me, the project extravaganza. It's like never ending projects of stuff that I may or may not ever finish. Anybody, anybody else besides me have that? I am tired, Dawn. I am. You know what? I tried to sleep. I woke up. I went to bed so early last night because I was home by, I don't know. I was probably home by five and my daughter had made dinner and she was like, I can't believe you're home so early. And, um, my daughter made dinner and I laid down. You guys, I had... This is how tired I was. I had one. I didn't even have a whole glass of wine. I had a half a glass of wine. We were, my daughter said, oh, I bought this. I bought the wine you like. And I was like, oh, honey, I don't really want any. She's like, what do you mean? I had to go to three stores to find it. I was like, oh, my gosh. Okay, I'll have a glass of wine. So I had a half a glass of wine, ate some dinner. And I put on, um, you know, that English channel, that BBC channel that has, like, um, Father Brown Mysteries or whatever, you guys, I don't know what how this TR is going to come out, so we're just going to kind of go with it and see if I can figure it out. So I watched Father Brown Mysteries and fell asleep during, I probably watched like 10 minutes of it. And my hottie had gone out with our friends and he came home and I woke up for like a minute and he said, how was your night? I said, my night was great. How was yours? And he said, I rolled over and I was snoring. 
That's you. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was like half a glass of wine asleep already. I mean, seriously, it was so ridiculous. My family makes fun of me as it is. So now I'm never, I probably won't hear the end of it. Give her half a glass of wine and she'll go to sleep on you. How many of you guys have families that make fun of you? Mine totally do all the time. And <laughs> the process is all there. Finish it ain't nothing. Tiara fun. Guys, I used to be obsessed with tiaras. Were you guys ever obsessed with tiaras? I used to make them out of all kinds of stuff. Ridiculous things. Although I have to admit I've never made them for these this tiny of a thing. Mental exhaustion is almost worse than physical. Yep. <laughs> Aisha. Hi, Bootsy. Oh, we love you, Bootsy. How's your bathroom coming along? Are they almost done yet? Dawn, I have to agree with you. The mental thing is like too much. I'm like mentally exhausted. I'm mentally worn out. Chai says she's trying to find a shawl or a wrap scarf to make some yarn at Hobby Lobby. I didn't buy it, but if I could find the perfect pattern, you'll, you'll be doing it. You'll be going back. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Bootsy says lots of details to be going, to dealing with and some unexpected issues. Seventh week coming up, and now you have a toilet and shower. Hey. Marilyn, you're right. Marilyn says empaths can't do mundane jobs dealing with the public. You are so right, Marilyn. You are so right. So right. I agree with you 100%. I agree with you 100%. Well, I have to tell you, it's been it's been a real it's it's been something you're lurking, trying to get your craft space organized? Oh, girl, please. I can't even. My daughter always says, I'll do it for you, Mom. But then, you know, anytime they mess with my stuff, I can never find it. How many of you guys have helpful family members like that? Like, you can't find it after they've messed with it? That's what happens to me. I lose my stuff. My kids mess with it, and then I can't find it. I'm going to show you guys what Christy sent me in just a minute. I have it right here. It's amazing. It made me cry because I was having such a bad day yesterday. And I guess it came in the mail the day before, but I wasn't. I didn't get home. I got home so late. I didn't even look in the where we put our mail. I just went to bed. Bye, Dawn. Big hugs. Dawn, stay safe, okay? We love you, and we're sending you so much love. Stay safe. And all of you that are in the hurricane's path, will you, like, once you guys are in some safe place, can you post in our Facebook group that you're okay? Because, you know, we all worry about you, and we all love you, and we definitely don't want, we definitely want all of our crafting mamas to be happy, healthy, and safe. So if you wouldn't mind like giving us a heads up when you when you get to when you get to a safe place just to, to let us all know you're okay. Thanks. We love you, Dawn. We and send in your prayers. Give Leah my best and I'm thinking of you and you're indefinitely. You guys surround all of our crafting mamas with white light so that they're all safe. You know, we all need to, we need that. We need we need that um that uh little extra help. This is not really a great tiara, but 
We're going to go with it anyway. Maybe I'll glitter glue it. I can put some glitter glue jewels on it. Let me see if that works. Let me see if the glitter glue works. I have some stickles over here. Let's see what colors I have. How many of you guys have like craft supplies that you never use, like me? Like I have so many that I never use. I have like tons. Good juju, love and light to all in the path. I agree. In the path of the hurricane. Good juju. Totally good juju. So Trace, what kind of job are you working now, Mama? What kind of job are you doing now? Because I have more supplies than I could probably ever use in a lifetime. And whenever I need them, I can't find them. How many of you have that? That's the most ridiculous. That's the most frustrating thing out of all, right? Right? That's the most frustrating thing. Um, it's like if you have the craft supplies and then you... You're doing landscaping. Oh, big hugs, Linda. <laughs> you, have, you have them too. But he says, I have things I bought and I've only used once. One hit wonders, you call them. My daughter, my oldest daughter, she was like, seriously, mom, you need to have an intervention. You need to not collect any more crap. She tells, she goes, you need to lighten your load of, you need to lighten the load of collecting the craft supplies. She calls it my craft supply collection. And I'm like, I know, I know. She's like, I'm serious. You really need to like take it down a notch. I said, okay. She said, I can do that. You love it, but it's giving you tendonitis. Oh no! You're doing yard overhauls and transformations, girls. That girl, that is such heavy labor. Well, I hope that you're getting paid well, Trace. I hope no matter what that you get paid well, because that is a lot of work, sister. That is a lot of work. I'm sorry, I'm not even on camera. Do you guys ever read the comments on my videos? Somebody told me to stop talking. They come to craft and chat and they, were, and they wrote, stop talking. I was like, seriously? I was like, okay, good advice. Come to craft and chat and say, stop talking. I don't even, how do you deal with tendonitis? I mean, what, what can you do for it? Right? I mean, I don't... What can you do for tendonitis, Miss Trace? Is there anything you can do for it? I know, right? Stop talking. I, uh, that's great. You have a killer tan and you're in great shape. And you live on cheesecake and burgers. <laughs> hey girl, whatever works. Cheesecake and burgers. Braces for your arms, I stress, ibuprofen therapy. Okay, well, let's get to that. Bootsy says, here it has, it has not only been the trimming and cutting, etc., but the heat, humidity has made the yard work undoable. I empathize. You guys, my... It, we, have, we have had such a drought here that my beautiful, luscious yard is like basically brown. And I just try to keep watering just a little bit to the for the trees and stuff. But obviously I can't do anything on my the grass. It's totally brown. 
Hey, Susan. Susan says she has it in her foot. Cortisone shots and ice. Oh, yikes. Guys, I'm not a shot person. How many of you? <laughs> oh, shots. Shots might as well be like, I don't know. Shots and me. Do not mix. Okay, let me see if I can. I'm going to see if I can get the glitter glue to stay in the little holes on this so it looks like little stones. And this will be another one. Or the stickles, I should say. The stickles. Stickles that has been in my stash forever that I never use. So I'm going to bend these around. They're going to be their little tiaras. And I just got to let them dry somewhere. So they got to let them dry. Plug this glue gun. Oh, that's the other thing. So in the middle of the night, I wake up. And I smell like something cooking. And I wake up my hottie. And I go, will you, I go, will you look, in, go look in the kitchen and see if the kids left something on? I go, because sometimes our neighbors cook in the middle of the night, and they really cook, so it smells amazing, but it also smells like it could be burning in your house, which is ridiculous, right? So he, go, he goes, and he comes back, and he goes, no. He tells me our oldest daughter is cooking something, in it, cooking the roast in the crock pot. You're trying to prevent the shots. Not even jello shots. Ah, you're ridiculous. Intervention, I bet she's being serious because I need to do it. Oh my gosh, an intervention. I so need it. She was like, you guys have to realize that my kids, they think I'm insane anyway. They think that everything that I do is like ridiculous and they just think that I'm crazy. You know, like they go with it, but they just, they all laugh. Because I told you I'm the brunt of their like jokes and the brunt of their, their whatever. So, some of these are going to have crazy hair. Because some of their hair came out good, but some of it is just like, I don't know. Some of it, you guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm definitely failing at fairy hair one-on-one, that's for sure. I didn't get the fairy hair down part right. I didn't get it down. No, so, the, like, I thought somebody else, like, oh, no, you know, because sometimes, like, you know, like, I've, I've left stuff on the stove. Have you guys ever left stuff like that? You leave it on the stove or you leave it somewhere and, you know, it's like, I just wanted to make sure that there was nothing left on. And he comes back. She's cooking in the, she's cooking in the, in a crock pot. I said, oh, well, that's good. <laughs> she's cooking in a crock pot. He said, right on. Cooking in a crock pot. I used to make crock pot meals all the time. Were you guys good like that? I used to do it and I enjoyed it. You know, it really was time saving. I have all these stickles. I might as well just go for it and use all of them. I don't know which ones are going to show up in their black hair though. I have more stickles glitter glue than in, in a little tub than I even knew. You want an Instapot? <laughs> what? Marilyn says, no one tells guys to ditch their tools and get a giant toolbox for a thousand dollars. Bootsy says, oh my god, he started six eggs for a salad and forgot them. Went to Party City for stuff and our nest alarm rings my phone. There's smoke in the hallway. Oh my god. I can relate. I've, I am guilty of having let some eggs overcook before. How many of the rest of you are guilty of that too? You had eggs all over for days. Oh no. I 
I love you, Trace. I'm so happy to see you, girl. I can't wait to see you back on YouTube. And congratulations on everything going well for you right now, Mama. I'm so happy for you. I am so, so happy for you. You deserve it, girl. Yeah, do the woo-woo that we did a couple days ago. It's at the end of the last video. It was it was pretty off the hook. You know, that's one good thing. No matter how tired I am, I can still, like, tune in to that and, you know, try to do it all day for myself. I, you guys, I've just, I've had, I've had eggs. I've done that with eggs. I've done it with eggs. I've done it with, um, what did I burn once? Totally forgot all about it. It was something I had in the oven. I don't know. I've done it. I've done it numerous times. Love, light, and peace to you, Mama. We love you. So happy for you. So, so happy. See, yesterday I had to go to... So I told you guys I work in... The gallery that I work in is in the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. And I needed to ship out... Somebody had bought a piece of artwork and I needed to ship it out. And I haven't figured out how I get FedEx to come pick up the things that I have in the Ritz because they don't let you come in the... Anyway, it's a whole thing. So... I... Just drop it off. I get the FedEx envelope. I get the FedEx whatever from whoever's you know from the from the person that does our, our shipping and stuff, which is in another island. I get that, and then um, and then I um, drop it off. Well, yesterday I had this big box to drop off, and. They closed the FedEx on the side of the island where the FedEx office there is on anyway. So, but they have like a Walgreens drop off, like FedEx delivery and pickup to a local Walgreens right there. So I'm in Walgreens and my hottie's with me. He's like carries the big old box in and then I have to wait for them to talk to me so that I can put my email in their system so that they send me like all the notifications for it. So I'm in there. And I'm like, just standing, waiting. And there was a girl taking a photograph of a guy because he's getting his passport. And I guess I must have had the goofiest look on my face. I was smiling because I was thinking he was a really older guy. And I was thinking, oh, man, he's probably going on a vacation for a lifetime, right? And his wife is there with him. And, you know, she's making a joke or whatever. But I, was, I guess I was watching him and I had, like, this most goofiest look on my face. My hottie said, you know, he, I, I didn't realize I was, he said I was smiling from ear to ear. And he says, I just, this is so funny. He, this is why they make fun of me, you guys. He says, I just love you. I said, I love you too. He goes, no, he goes, you were getting so much joy. He goes, I got so much joy out of you watching that guy. Because you had the biggest grin on your face. I said, well, I was happy for him. And I said, I was just imagining where he was going on his vacation that he was waiting, you know. And he said, you should, he goes, I wish I'd taken a picture of that smile on your face. He goes, you would have laughed until you cried. I was like, oh my God. I was like, seriously. I was happy for the guy. I was totally happy for him. He was going on a vacation. He was like planning some, some amazing vacation. <laughs> Hi, Mark, how are you? <laughs> Bootsy said he, they, the eggs blew up right and of course he had egg all over his house for I don't know I've had that happen and then Bootsy says yeah but our daughter is a geriatric social worker so she has a close eye on me I think she's ready to put me in a home oh my god and maybe he was a mob boss explain I don't know but you know haven't you ever like just witnessed something that makes you smile you guys, that's all it was. It was not anything other than that. I just witnessed something and it just made me smile. You guys, I'm going to turn on my man gun. I, I got my man gun over here. I'm going to turn it on for a second so I can dry this glitter glue. Sorry if it's loud. Maybe he was a mob boss. That's right, Malia. He was a mob boss. He was mob bossing at Malia. You guys are ridiculous.
is my man gun came from my hottie. He went to buy me a new gun, a new heat gun. That was a whole nother story, guys, how ridiculous it was, right? You guys were here for that, right? Where he went, I, my heat gun had died. He went and bought me, like, that heat gun that he bought me will peel paint off of the walls. That is how strong it is. It will peel paint off of the walls. <clears throat> it was all mobbed up maybe I don't know I was just happy guys and you know I don't guys I think I'm probably ridiculous all the time and I just it's just who I am right and my family they just think that I'm ridiculous all the time and I am I guess and that's all good I need a dowel and I don't have one need a dowel and I don't have one nearby so stick with the bottle will have to do a bit more to go Malia you're not you're not you reclick the bell yeah you guys if you are subscribed to people and you're not getting their notifications resubscribe I found like I always watch this satiric person not always but I like to watch him and I, and I watch him. He comes on weekly. And I wondered why I wasn't getting any of his notifications. And I somehow am unsubscribed. And I didn't unsubscribe myself. So I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I do not know. So I suggest if you are used to getting notifications from uh for your things that for the peeps that you really enjoy on YouTube and you're not suddenly go back and check because I was unsubscribed to him and didn't know it. Yeah, pop in a question for parents. Go for it, Christy. I am okay, Mark. I'm just tired of working a job that's kicking my butt. I am working a job that is kicking my behind. That is what is wrong with me. Okay? Nothing. Just working a job that... <clears throat> working a job that is too ridiculous. Thanks for asking. Ask away, Christy. We're all waiting. As I make a fairy tiara. Not even a good fairy tiara, but a fairy tiara. Hey, Samantha. I saw your postcard a day challenge, girl. I want to tell you that I want to try, but I don't know if I, I can't commit. <laughs> You're always having to turn your bells on. <laughs> I, me too, girl. I get, I don't know how, I don't know how the algorithm of YouTube works anymore. And I don't know why they unsubscribe you to people from people. Okay. So Christy said, <clears throat> Okay, she's at a bit of a loss, and it's sad because she's a nurse. She said, so Allie can't stand Pedialyte. Don't blame her. She just popped fever, and all I have is apple juice, and I'm worried it'll upset her tummy. Any ideas? <coughs> you can't come in either. Um, Christy, coconut water? Coconut, do you know my, you won't necessarily know this, but living in the tropics, Coconut water and coconut actually has, if you're not allergic to it, okay, let's preface it, has all the nutrition. If you ate a coconut or partial of coconut a day, you would get all the hydration and everything you needed. Um, so if you can get her coconut water, that'll help. Um, Pedialyte is a difficult one. I don't particularly think my kids liked it either. Um... I don't know. What did I used to give my kids? Um, apple juice probably is fine too. I mean, if she'll drink it, I don't think it'll upset her stomach, but I don't know. It depends why I dilute it with water. Lily likes Pedialyte on ice.
Yeah, watered down Powerade does work too. Um, I don't know. I have coconut water in my fridge, and you can buy it or you can get a coconut and crack it open. Either way, it's the same. It'll work good. Um, I don't know. When I was a kid, my mom used to always give us ginger ale, watered down ginger ale, or ice cold ginger ale, or popsicles. They always worked. I think Pedialyte makes popsicles too, don't they? But if she didn't like that, she might not like it. Samantha's asking, how old is she, Christy? He'll try the coconut and crack it up and I'll absolutely delight her. You guys, I'm not up on all the nutrition of coconuts or whatever, but my hottie is, okay? He's like... He's like an amateur nutritionist, you know what I mean? He's like, he's like a, he probably should have been a doctor, you know, because he's really into scientific things and scientific experiments and whatever have you, and he's into all that. And he, um, I don't remember which one of the kids was sick, one of them was, and Now, you have to make sure if you want enough water, go to the health food store and buy a young green coconut. That's what you want. Because the older ones, the older ones are not, um, they have a lot of meat, but they don't have any, any water. Okay, this is the poorest TR job I've ever done. I guess it doesn't help that I'm working with, like, some weird wire. You guys, I have all this stuff, all the supplies to make amazing things. And ask me where it is. So ridiculous. So, so ridiculous. I'm like, I scoured my garage, tore everything up looking for these tubs. I didn't find any of them. I'm hoping, my, I'm hoping, let's just hope that one of my kids didn't think they were doing an intervention on me and throw it all away. Which could very well happen in my world. Um, I'm hoping it's all in storage. Which I have a feeling it is because of my panic last time when I was having all those people here. All right, it's kind of a, a wonky tiara. But let's see if we can let's see if we can straighten it out, shall we? With our little dowel, our bottle, our stickles bottle as our dowel. All right, let's see which which ain't which which fairy it's going on. A fairy tiara. Kids do get dehydrated so easily. You're absolutely right about that. You definitely have to be up on it, especially when they're little and they get sick, right? Because, you know, when they're when they're little and they're sick, it's like you can't even, like, you don't know what you're doing. My kids are just now waking up. They don't know I'm live streaming, so you may hear some things you don't want to hear. You may hear some things that you're like, what is that? All right, let's see if I can get this tiara on her head. All right, one tiara down. Freeze some juice and put some water in it. Yeah, that's a good idea. So one tiara down. <laughs> Five more to go. It's like ridiculous. Guys, just say no. It's got to be my new motto. Just say no. Man gun, man gun warning. So needs one more dot inside of it. 
because I, I guess the heat gun blew it all out. The man gun blew it out. I'm still working on these fairies. I didn't work on them after my live stream the other day. I'm just now I'm just making the tiaras for them. So I had to go to the last time I was on with you guys. I was like, I don't know. I was, I worked on the fairies for however long the stream was, an hour, two hours, whatever it was. And then I had to do my life. You know, I had to go to the grocery store and do all the stuff that I don't have time to do because that was my day off. Because otherwise we don't eat. You know how that goes, right? And today's the first day I've been able to get back to them because I've been working, you guys, I've been working double shifts. So I'm not, I'm, I live an hour away from where I work in traffic. And so it's like an hour there, an hour back. And I've been working 13 or more at the, the stores open 13 hours. So I've been working 13 hour shifts and then you, know, you have to get there a little early and get there a little, you have to get there a little, you know, stay a little late. I've done nothing. Nothing. Hi, Tanya. I hope she feels better too, Christy. Let's see how this one's going to work. It's totally, it doesn't feel like it's totally dry. Let's see if this one's dry. Oh, sometimes this glitter glue stuff doesn't dry very fast. You have a craft room instead of a closet? Oh my gosh. Hi, Dania. Congratulations, Amberly. Hi, Dania. How are you? I missed you too, girl. I was thinking about you the other day. Last few years of work were 60 hours a week. Oh, no. For the most part, exhausting. Yeah, you know what? We I thought about moving closer to where my job is, but you guys, it, it where my daughter goes to school is closer to here, and it's just, I don't know. I have to work out the rhythm. Aw, that's so sweet. Oh no, Malia said she accidentally microwaved one of those noodle things without water. And she had to throw out her microwave because she couldn't get the smell out. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Watermelon juice in a blender for dehydration? Yeah, that's probably good too. <clears throat> that's very good. Good suggestion, Marilyn. Yeah, and it has lots of sugar and electrolytes in it too. So, excellent suggestion. I think the, the popsicle, I mean, the frozen juice idea is probably good, too, because she'll do that, I'm sure. You guys, I have a greater appreciation for people that do miniatures now, because this is ridiculous. What? That's crazy. So you just got to wait. Aww. You're hoping humanity's been restored. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> you like cucumber and watermelon juice? So that's good. She never met whoever you're giving the um, journal to. Oh, that's awesome. 
That's awesome. The dog's gonna bark because my hottie's coming home from coming home from his workout. The dog will bark because suddenly there will be somebody home. The dog is going to have a barking moment. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys, but that's just kind of how it rolls here right now. Christy, that's so awesome. I'm going to show everybody the happy mail you sent me. You guys, the holidays are coming up soon. Support each other. Support each other, really seriously. You know, you can make a choice where and how you spend your money. Support each other. Support each other. Buy from each other. Support each other. It's like so... It's so important, right, to support local, buy local, support each other. So support each other. If you know have if you know you're wanting to buy a journal for, from somebody, take a look and see who's selling them. See if it's a style you like and support each other. Support each other. It makes it makes such a huge difference. You guys, I sell local art all day long, and it really does make a difference. And, you know, big companies don't need your money, but little ones do. Little solitary, little solitary artists need your money. It definitely does give you um, all the positive vibes to think, okay, I'm going to keep making my art, right? Oh. Um. That's awesome. Chrissy, congratulations, girl. Congratulations. So did anybody hit up the Labor Day sales? I know that there's all kinds of crazy stuff people sell for Labor Day, like, like, home appliances and stuff and those things if you need them obviously you can't and yeah if you can buy local great but you know we had to we needed a new fridge we had to buy it from from Lowe's they don't have local um maybe they used to at one time but there's no more local appliance stores here oh that's so sweet I'm happy for you girl Happy, happy, happy. <clears throat> Guys, my tools have rusted. That's the only bad thing about living here. So when I was at <clears throat> when I was at our local big box store, which I don't really like to frequent, but some things you can't get anywhere but there, at least here on my island. Um they had a set of pliers and I bought them. They were like ten bucks, but I had really good like German pliers when I was metal smithing and making jewelry for years and they're rusted. I mean I have to like I don't know soak them in coca-cola or something and then oil them. All right let me find the next doll. Let's see who has the other hair. Some of them have such big hair that you need the big you need the, need the big crown for the big hair. I might have to make this one a little smaller. But you get the idea. Maybe I'll give her a big bouffant hairdo. Hobby Lobby's coming to Delaware. Oh, wow. Are you totally excited? I've sent care things to her auction. She, you know, she does, she does really a great thing. She sends people all kinds of cool craft supplies and stuff. But, yeah, you could totally send her some stuff. She always appreciates it. She totally appreciates it. <clears throat> I would wait till after the storm, though, because she lives in Florida. Yeah. You can send her supplies. You can send her anything. She'll, she's good with anything you send her. Some people have sent her beads and supplies and stamps and I mean there's all kinds of different things you could send her. You don't have doesn't have to be a finished product. Definitely does not have to be a finished product.
Um, people sent her all kinds of stuff because she's always raising money for the the other artists to buy supplies. These are not dying, so I'm ending up with like copper stickles all over me. I guess I should just be patient and let it just dry instead of like messing with it, right? Yeah, just be patient. So I've done three tiaras, two have hair, so if I have three tiaras, so I just need one more tiara. I was gonna make a pink tiara, but I don't know. Well, I think, let's see. <coughs> you can send her whatever you want, Roy. You don't. It's not. It's not a mandatory anything. She'd love anything you send her. What she does is she either uses whatever you send her for an auction item, or she, um, or if like say somebody's put it on their wish list, like maybe there's somebody on there that has put down <clears throat> that they would like some, I don't know, some crocheted granny squares or crocheted flowers or something like that. Then she sends it directly to them. So, so you can do either, Roy, you can do it either way. You can send it to her straight out, or you can, um, or send her supplies. She, somebody sent her some amazing scrapbooking paper, and I think some of it she sent to people in, in, in Daffy, and then some of them she auctioned off to raise the money. She raises the money for the postage. I don't know how many packages she sends out, but it's pretty hefty. Oh, uh, I'm going to see your snippet roll. I'll go watch it on our Crafting Mom's Facebook group. You guys, I have not. Thank you for everybody who continues to post and is waiting for me to get my shizzle together. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that you guys keep the group keep the group going because I have to tell you I've been like in my own in my own funkadelic. Mary Kay, how are you? 32, that's how many boxes she sends out? 32 boxes, is that what you're saying, Marilyn? Happy to see you. What's going on in your world, Miss Ma'am? Those of you just joining us, I'm making fairy doll tiaras, okay? <laughs> That's where the ridiculousness lies for me today. I am making fairy doll tiaras. You guys, the dog and the cat are both going to have like a moment. <laughs> My hottie's running in and out of the house and they're like freaking out. Hey, Sandra, how are you? I missed the whole auction. I missed it because I haven't been... Anyway, whatever. I've missed everything lately. So, I'm glad it went well, too, Malia. Yeah, I saw Stacy raised, what, like $800 for it? Or more than $800? That's so good. You've been watering gardens and feeding friends cats? Oh, good for you, Mama. Are you still looking for a job? Are you... What are you up to? I missed it, too. It wasn't even that Saturdays are a busy day for me. It's just, I was working. You know, that's kind of how my life rolls these days. Well, I'm so glad. Stacy has some good auctions. And I'm sure that Care really appreciated it. Because sending out, what is it she sends out? 32? 32 packages? At Stacy's auction, Care said she sends out 32 packages. That's a lot. 
I thought, yeah, Mary Kay, you want to come to Hawaii? I'm hiring. Yeah, Malia, if the job paid a living wage for somebody to move here, I would have done it. Are you kidding? It doesn't do that here. You guys, the cost of living here is ridiculous. The cost of living here is so ridiculous. The cost of living is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. And it's, it's so crazy. You're working at a polling place for two weeks? Oh, that's awesome. I don't know. I'm looking for a new job too. I just don't know what I want to do. I definitely don't want to take on somebody's business that is like, I don't want to do what I'm doing now again. Oh, you're going to teach kids art in an after school program? Oh, Mary Kay, that is so fun. I've done that. It's such a fun thing to do. Okay, here's my here's my last wonky tiara. Let's see whose head it's gonna fit on, and then I'm gonna put some glitter glue on it. Well, I may have to cut it and make it a little smaller, but you get the idea. If I glitter glue it, let me see if I can make it a little smaller. Some of their hair is crazy. I've got to deal with some of it. The ponytail ones I like. These, I don't know what I'm going to do. They're crazy hair. Some crazy, crazy hair. Crazy fairy hair. You're going to love, you're going to love it, Mary Kay. You're going to do great. You'll be a great, you'll be a great after school teacher. If you have, if you have patience, you'll be like, this is fun. This is so fun. Why didn't I do it years ago? Right? You'll be like, I should have done it years ago. I should have done it years ago. Well, I'll put some glitter glue in her and then there's her tr. So anyway, how many of you guys want to stay for a little woo woo? Anybody up for a little woo woo? And... And you definitely have experience. You totally have experience. You want some woo-woo? All right, so for those of you that are new, um, we do guided meditation at the end of all of our... Oh, wait, before I do our, our woo-woo, go get your water if you guys want to participate in the guided meditation. Um, it takes about, I don't know, 15, 10 minutes, the meditation. But before we do that, I want to show you guys what Christy sent me. i got to clean off my desk, though, because I don't want to get any glue and stuff on it. Um, but if you want some energized water, go get your water. And we'll get started with our meditation in just a minute. But I'm going to show you really quick what Christy sent me awesome and I'll do a real flip through I'll do a real flip through video of it um, later on but it's super awesome and and if you've never done a guided meditation there isn't anything that you need to know to do it you just have to have a willingness to participate that's really all it is and you know and breathe 
That's it. Inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. That's the extent of it. But get your water if you want some energized water. Grab that. And the meditation takes about 10 minutes. But I'm going to show you guys my flip through really fast. I'm just putting my putting my jewels on my tiara and let it I'm gonna let it dry over here. I'm not gonna be in such a hurry to put it on the doll's head. I don't want to pick up my mess so that you guys can see this beautiful happy mail that I got from our Miss Miss Christy Biddleson. Miss Meta Mandala Art and Book Smith. You need some woo-woo big time. Girl, I already did some woo-woo before I even started talking to you guys. And then you guys were like, what's wrong with you? I was like, can you imagine what a what a funk I was in before I even... I wasn't even a funk. I'm just tired. I'm physically and emotionally tired. It's so ridiculous. All right, let me show you guys my, my happy meal. You guys, it made me cry. It totally made me cry. I was not expecting it. I never expect you guys to start. I never... And I never want anyone to ever feel like they have to send me something. Um, can you guys hang on a second? Just hold on one second. I'm sorry. Yeah? Go ahead. I'm here. Go ahead. Um, I don't know. Can I can can I call you back in like five minutes? And or, or, or no, let me let me call you back. Maybe give me give me like twenty minutes. I, I wrote it all down, and she worked another day too, and her login didn't work, and so that's why she didn't log in because her login didn't work. Okay, I'll call you back. Okay, bye. Sorry, you guys. That was a person that worked that's working for me. I just want to make sure there wasn't any any big thing. So she sent me this amazing happy mail. Look at the envelope. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at the envelope. That's the first thing. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? I already put it back in because I had it, I had taken it out when I was at work. And she sent me this really lovely paper. Okay, look at the art. The art's excellent. I'm going to take this out and put it in my art journal. And I love her drawing. It was just so thoughtful. And she sent me this wax paper which I have to say I have never I haven't seen this brown wax paper I don't know where you got it but I love it I'm going to use it in my art journal so you love it and doesn't make like the best noise oh my gosh so awesome now I have to let you know that my little one looked at it too my little my 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 12 year old and she wrote my name isn't it beautiful and you have beautiful handwriting I love it it's gonna go in my art journal and wait till you see okay my little one and I looked through it and we cried. It's made out of a bag, a paper bag. But look at her snippet roll. Her snippet roll. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I love it. It's like almost too good for a journal. You know, it's like way too good for a journal. Like, look at it. Like, I was thinking I might put it on the strap of this handbag that I have in process that I haven't finished. I love it. Don't you love this? Love, love, love it. It's gorgeous, right? And then she sent me an ATC. Can you see it? It says, I am fabulous. Embrace the weirdness. Make cool things. Totally right in my alley. And look at the journaling charm on it. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, look. It's got like a, a baby mandala. I love it. And then I like all of it. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to take it to work with me, and I'm going to work in it. She sent me some tea because I need some. She sent me, look at the yumminess in here. This very large paper clip, which I love. I don't think I've seen one that big. And she just sent me all kinds of goodies, you guys. Like, look at all these comic book things. I love them. I love, love, love them. And I'm going to use those in my art journal. And she sent me some more Calvin and Hobbes, which I love. I put it in my art journal, in my glue book. You guys have had little or no time. Just glued a few things in my glue book lately. But I love it. 
and she sent me some old book pages, which in my world, you can never have too many. How about you guys? Can you have too many book pages in your world? And then look, you guys, she like sent me, look, these are her painting papers and her, she collaged on them and I just love them all. They're all beautiful. Painting papers and collage. She wrote, buy yourself flowers. Good reminder. And then some beautiful coffee dyed music paper, which I love, which I'm going to use in my ATCs and my collage. And if I get to Samantha's postcard in a day, I'm going to do that. And then just all kinds of really nice paper. Like, it's just beautiful dyed paper. Guys, how many of you guys are addicted to paper? I am. And look, look at this. This one's really beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Look at the tiny writing. Look at the tiny writing. It's so gorgeous. And you guys, this, this look at it. All her painted papers. I'm like, you guys, I'm addicted to painted papers. Painting papers are like one of my most favorite. And look, all her mandalas. Aren't they fabulous? I can't wait to use them in my art journal. We're getting ready to do guided meditation if you want to join. Look, this is what she sent me. You guys, I can't wait to use it all. And I'm going to put it in my bag. I'm going to take it with me to work. And I'm going to, and I have my glue book at work. And I'm just going to play and have fun. Sometimes, like, when stuff like this comes to me, I have to lay, like, I have it on, I just hold it and pet it for a while before I take it apart. Are you guys anything like that? And look more. Look more. Like, she gave me so much. Christy, thank you so much. Your generosity is above and beyond. And um, thank you. And it came on a day when I was just like, came, you know, I just needed a pick me up. So it was awesome. And look, she made it out of a paper bag. So just when you guys think that you can't make anything, look, it's made out of a paper bag. And then it has an envelope in it too, right? Look at this. But she used it, made pockets. She made it out of a paper bag. So how many of you guys, you, look at these, aren't they beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous. So when you guys think that you don't have the supplies, just get your creativity on, right? Embrace the weirdness, make cool things. Thank you guys. Thanks, Christy. You guys go over and check out her channel, okay? It's Meta Mandala Art and Book Booksmith, right? Isn't that what it is? But she's in the chat right now. She's in the chat right now, so go go right next to her name. It's Meta Mandala Art and Booksmith. Oh no, Christy, big love, girl. All right, we're going to do our woo-woo. So for those of you, thank you for the love. Thank you, I needed it so much, and I'm really grateful. So for those of you that want to do the meditation, um, let's invite in today the spirit of forgiveness. I have been lately looking at myself, and, you know, nothing's outside of us. Hi, Kristen. I loved your series. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Yours and Denise's series. I watched it and loved it all. It was so awesome. Um, so what I've been looking at myself and just trying to figure out, like, where is the next step that I want to go with my life? And what is it that I really see myself doing? And what will bring me joy? But in the midst of all that, I'm finding that I have to forgive myself. Forgive myself for my shortcomings forgive myself for all the things I did or didn't do and be kinder to myself. But the forgiveness part is key because I've realized for myself that only I matter. Only I matter to my own growth and my own evolution. And I have to forgive myself first and foremost. So I invite all of you to bring the the energy of forgiveness, call on the energy of forgiveness to forgive yourself for the things you regret doing and forgive yourself for the things you didn't do. And just forgive yourself, period, for your imperfections, for your shortcomings, for whatever it is that you judge most harshly about yourself. Because through that lesson for myself, first and foremost, through the lesson of forgiving myself, I'm able to then not hold judgments toward others. And I'm finding for myself that even though most of the time I try to live in a space where I'm not judging anyone or anything, the judgments still come up. 
I'm too fat, I'm too thin, I'm too whatever, you know, whatever it is that, that critical thinking voice or critical, I don't know, I used to call it my inner critic. So, and forgiving myself, those things dissipate and I don't even notice them. Like I, I'm not, I don't find myself thinking about anything. I don't find myself thinking about my, my, my thoughts are just clear. And so I invite you guys to try it. I mean, if you feel like you're, if you want to enhance your life, if you want to move forward towards something greater than you, if you want to bring up and raise your own vibration, forgiveness first and foremost for yourself. And whatever that means. It doesn't mean you have done anything wrong. It, there's no right or wrong in forgiveness. It's just an energy of peace. And somebody very wise once told me, peace begins with me, right? Peace, my peace, not the world's peace, but my peace, right? So I invite you all to bring, to call on the, the, the spirit of forgiveness, to forgive yourself. And let's bring to mind all those that are in the floods and the hurricanes and in the natural disaster areas that we want them all to be happy, healthy, and one with themselves and peaceful. Peace and calm, peace and calm, peace and calm. And for anyone that you know right now that could use a little boost in any way, shape, or form, bring them to mind. Always include yourself, include your home. Include, and you can just say, I'd like to include everyone I work with, everyone I see, meet, everyone I come in contact with. I'd like to call in, you know, all the animals and anything that you find useful for yourself. And if you have something troubling you particularly, throw it in the mix. Throw it in the mix. Okay, let's get started. All you need to do to participate is inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. You can do this with your eyes open or your eyes closed. The energy comes to you all the same. You can do it lying down or sitting. I just suggest you don't do it when you're driving or operating any sort of thing that, cause, that you need your full and utter attention on because sometimes when we do this work, you can become so relaxed that you are not a, you're not very focused on things that you may need to put attention on. Okay, let's get started. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Receive and release. Receive and release. Imagine yourself in a column of light. When you look up, you can't see the end. And when you look down, you can't see the end. This is your column of light. It is unique to your being, soul, spirit. Allow your column of light with every inhale and every exhale to grow wider and wider and brighter and brighter. Give your column of light the suggestion heart of the earth and with that your column of light is right there deep in the heart of the earth give your column of light big roots like old tree roots deep in the heart of the earth allow your column of light to anchor deep in the heart of mother earth let's focus on our heart and imagine all the things that you appreciate about Mother Earth. The air you breathe, the water you drink, the food you're supplied. Give yourself permission to go to a special place in nature that only you, that is only for you, whatever that is. It could be your own backyard, the beach, the mountains. And begin to allow yourself to appreciate that. The sound of the birds, the rolling waters, if you're by a creek or a lake, the crashing of the waves if you're by the beach. Feel the sun on your face and the sand in your toes. Enjoy each and every moment of your place, your special place on earth. 
it like you will imagine a big bubble in your heart and allow the love and the gratitude that you feel for Earth to form in this bubble. On the count of three, we're going to send this bubble straight to the heart of the Earth. Fill this bubble with love. One, fill this bubble with even more love and gratitude. Two, and fill this bubble with the most love that you can imagine and send it right to the earth. Three. Allow yourself to feel the response of the earth. You can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it. She responds back every time. Let's ask for her energy to be ever more present in our bodies. Feel her sending her unconditional love in the form of her energy flowing through your column. Feel it filling your feet and ankles calves and knees, thighs and hips. Feel it filling the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, your chest and back, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands and out every finger. Feel it filling your throat and neck, your face and head, and feel it fountaining out the top of your head as high as you can imagine. Breathe it in, breathe it in, and breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy this deep connection you have with Mother Earth. Now I'd like you to focus on your column of light above your head. Give your column of light the suggestion, heart of the central sun, heart of creator creation energy, heart of the divine. And with that, your column of light is right there. Give your column of light above your head the same roots you did below your feet. Allow those roots to grow deeper and deeper with every breath through this meditation. I'd like you to focus on your heart again. And I'd like you to imagine a beautiful starry sky. I'd like you to imagine the moon and all the stars and planets. I'd like you to recognize what a big part you play in this vast, enormous universe. Allow your heart to fill with love and gratitude for the beauty you see in a night sky, for the love you feel at a sunset. Give your heart the same bubble you did before filling it with love and gratitude for the universe, love and gratitude for the central sun, love and gratitude for creator creation energy. On the count of three, I'd like you to send this bubble up through the top of your head, deep into the heart of where your roots are above your head, in the heart of the divine, the heart of the central sun, the heart of creator, creation, energy. Ready? Breathe in. Imagine that night sky and fill your bubble with love. Breathe in. Imagine the moon and fill your bubble with love. One more time. Imagine the vast universe and the part you play and fill your bubble with love. On the count of three, let's send this energy straight to the heart of the central sun. One, 
feeling more love two adding more and three send this beautiful angelic realm all the love you can muster allow yourself to feel the response the heart of the divine always answers the heart of creator creation energy always comes forward feel this beautiful energy pouring through mixing with your energy and the earth's love and spreading throughout your body and six feet in all directions feel it filling your head and face your throat and neck your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest and back, your waist, your lower abdomen, the base of your spine, and feel it pouring through your hips, thighs, knees, calves, and ankles, and out the bottom of your feet, expelling any and all excess deep in the heart of the earth. Breathe it in. and breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to heaven and earth. I'd like you to focus on your heart and open a window there. Give your body personality permission to release anything that doesn't serve you. You don't even need to know what it is. Allow this energy to leave like smoke. Wherever, and just see it dissipating and it will continue to release all throughout the rest of this meditation. Focus on your heart. On the inhale, receive peace, balance, freedom, and clarity. And on the exhale, you're releasing anything that no longer serves you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. One more time, receive, release. Let's add two more points of light. Let's add your waist and your throat. We're focusing on your waist, your heart, and your throat energy centers. Breathe in, receive peace, and balance, clarity, and freedom. And on the exhale, release anything that no longer serves you. Receive in love, release in love. Receive, release. Receive and release. Receive and release. Let's add two more points of light. Let's add your lower abdomen, your waist, your heart, your throat, and the center of your forehead. Receive peace, balance, clarity, and freedom. And on the exhale, release anything that no longer serves you. Receive in love. Release in love. Receive, release. Receive, release. Receive, release.
Let's add two more points of light at the base of your spine and the top of your head. We're focusing on the base of our spine, our lower abdomen, waist, heart, throat, center of the forehead, and the top of our head. Receive peace, balance, bliss, freedom, and clarity. And on the exhale, release any energies that no longer serve you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive, release. Receive, release. Receive, release. Let's add two more points of light one foot below your feet and one foot above your head. We're focusing one foot below our feet, the base of our spine, our lower abdomen, our waist, our heart, throat, center of the forehead, top of the head, and one foot above your head. Breathe in, receive peace, balance, clarity, freedom, and bliss. And on the exhale, release anything that no longer serves you. Receive in love. Release in love. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. Receive, release. Receive, release. Let's add two more points of light, six feet below your feet and six feet above your head. And all the points of light in between on the inhale, receive peace, balance, bliss, clarity, and freedom. And on the exhale, release anything that no longer serves you. Receive in love. Release in love. Receive and release. Receive. And release. Receive. And release. Let's add two, that two more points of light. Where you meet with the heart of the earth and where you meet with the heart of creator creation energy and all of the points of light in between. On the inhale, receive peace, balance, bliss, clarity, and freedom. And on the exhale, release anything, any energies, any connections from all time, space, and dimensions, all kingdoms and planes that no longer serve you. Receive in love, release in love. Receive, release. Receive and release. Receive and release. I'd like you to imagine an infinity symbol, like a figure eight standing straight up and down on the inhale. Receive love from the earth and from the divine, and on the exhale, send back love to the earth, the 
heart of the central sun, the heart of the divine. Ready? Receive in love and give in love. Receive and give. Receive and give. Receive and give. One more time. Receive and give. And when you feel ready, open your eyes and come back. Well, I want to just thank you guys for joining me today and for always being my peeps. I wish you guys a blessed day. I hope you have a day filled with like amazing, beautiful things and that you remember that you are the divine and you're divine all the time, even if you don't remember. And I don't know what I'll be streaming next, but I look forward to seeing you again. Oh, Kristen, thank you for being here. And I love your artwork. And I hope I get to see more of it soon. And you fell asleep. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love you, Bet. I've been missing you, girl. Hope you're good. So I don't know what my work schedule is next week, but I'm hoping to get back to a more regular stream. And know that this energy stays present all the time. You can come back and listen to it again and again, and I advise you to do it, especially when things are not going the way you want. It definitely will make you feel better. I come back and listen, okay? So anyway, I love you guys, and I hope you, hope you have a wonderful, creative, crafty week. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha. Until next time.